lesson, I will show you how to work with CRM nodes. So CRM nodes are uh, used to record activities that have already been completed, while to-dos, on the other hand, are meant to plan future activities. So both are primarily used by sales to plan meetings and record notes into Outstask. So to use both CRM nodes and to-dos, we first have to set our action types within the admin center. So action types are used to categorize the sales activity. Let me show you what I mean. So, okay, so let's go to admin by going to the hamburger menu here in the top left corner and going to admin right here. In admin, we will go to sales and opportunities and expand it by clicking on the plus sign right here. And we will go to action types and click right here. So within the action types, these are all the all the all of the categories we we use to um, uh, categorize sales activities. So as you can see, um, all of these are just a type of sales activity. So we have meeting, we have opportunity update, we have email stuff like that. And um, you can make a new one by just clicking on this new button right here, and you can just type in a name. And after you you can choose which view you want to show. So as you can see, you have four options. You have neither calendar nor to do, and um, it's it's not very common to choose this one because for most items you probably want to choose both calendar and to do view. So let me tell you what calendar is. The calendar view means it will appear in your calendar and the dispatch calendar. The to do view means it. Uh, uh, it'll appear in your scheduled items list instead of your calendar and the dispatch calendar. And the calendar and to-do view means it'll appear in both. So in both the scheduled items list, your calendar and the dispatch calendar. And for these three items, so calendar to-do and calendar and to-do, uh, the uh, notes or to-do will also be viewable from to-dos, to-dos and notes the to-dos view of the company contact and the opportunity detail pages. So how this works. You can also check this box right here to make sure it's active. And after you've added all the action types you want or need, we can go to these CRM nodes and I can show you how that works. But first, let me also show you, you have a hamburger menu right here. And through this hamburger menu, you can either edit and activate or delete an action type. So as you can see, uh, we have cancellation, which we didn't need currently. So we just inactivated it. And as you can see, it isn't active right here because the uh, check mark isn't shown right here. Okay, so um, we've just set everything we've needed to. So let me uh, show you how we can make a CRM node. So to make a CRM node, the easiest option is to go to this icon right here and go to notes right here under CRM. So when I click on this, the CRM uh, node search will appear. So as you can see, we have two kinds of notes right here. And as you can see, it's just a search page for to-dos and notes. So you can expand the search filter right here if you want to search one. But right now we're, we don't want to search one, we just want to add one. So if you want to add a to-do, you can just click on new. But if you want to make a note, you have to go to this, to this icon right here and click on note right here. And as you can see, a new page or a new tab will be opened. And we can now make a new CRM note. So for this note, we can select a company. We can either do that by clicking on the selector right here and select a company. Or we can just type in the name right here and we can find the company we want to make a note for. So right now I want to make a note for ABC demo. And um, as a contact, you either can use the selector right here or we can, you can type in the name. So I, I will make a note for user run right now. And um, here under action, you have the different action types we've just set up. So let's say I want to make a CRM note or a note for a meeting I've just had. I can select the meeting and I can just set the date right here. So let's say it's for today 
And instead of now I want to make it for this, this morning at let's say 10 o'clock and the meeting ran till 11.30. So I will just fill it in right here. I can just type in the notes of my meeting right here. And if I should choose so, I can add an attachment right here by clicking on this button, add attachment. As you can see, you can just add any kind of attachment and give it a name and click on save and close. But I'm not going to do that right now. So let's say I've had a meeting and um, I need to follow it up. What I can do is I can very easily, under this field right here, I can make a follow up to do. So as I've said before, CRM notes are for things that happened in the past, activities that happened in the past. You can just make your notes and to do's are for things you want to plan in the future. So you can always follow up a note by a follow up, follow up to do. You can just choose the action type. So maybe instead of a meeting, I might want to plan a phone call. I can just select phone call. I can assign it to someone. So let's say I will assign it to me. I can plan it on a date. So let's say it's next week and I can give it a time. So let's say I, I will plan it for 10 to 10 50 and I can either give it a description. So I can say just call to see how they are doing so i can just plan it i can click on save and close and it'll it'll be saved so um that's crm notes um in a nutshell for to do's we will make another video to talk about it a little bit more in detail